But I think we really want to talk about how to save for that big day. Is there a certain amount you're telling parents or or percentage? How do we do? I think, Dan, it starts all with your vision Mm -hmm. of what you want your wedding to look like. You have to come up with an overall budget. So it has to be tempered against reality. How much can you actually uh, afford for this? Whether it's going to be a $20,000 wedding or whether it's going to be a $50,000 wedding. What you probably do not want to do is you probably do not want to dip into retirement accounts Mm -hmm. or borrow a lot of money and rack up a lot of debt. Fortunately, in wedding planning, you're going to have a little bit of a runway. It's going to take six months. It may even take a year for the uh, wedding to come about. So I think during that year, you have to have a plan Mm -hmm. about how you're going to pay for each piece of the wedding. And then as you go through that plan, you're going to have to figure out which pieces are more important than others. You're going to have to prioritize a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe Mm -hmm. we're not going to be quite as generous on the uh, wedding gifts to guests, and maybe we're going to be a little bit more generous on the uh, flowers that we have at the uh, wedding. So I think you need to kind of prioritize a little bit what's important to you. And then throughout that runway, I think you just need to uh, budget and, you know, save money and try to do as much of it as you can currently without incurring debt Mm -hmm. if you don't have to. 